In this third section about scanners readers, we're going to look at the Clearview Speech. Now this is a desktop electronic magnifier with speech capability. Clearly it's not going to be as portable as either the Clear Reader or the Pearl with laptop that we discussed earlier. This is going to be more intended as a general resource in a resource room, a library or something similar, where people can bring an array of different uh, texts and, and books and materials and have them not just magnified but also read out loud. So it comes with a 24 inch screen, a sliding platform below to which the books can be placed and in its standard mode it's just used as an electronic magnifier. So here we can magnify anything placed underneath it. But I'm going to concentrate in this section on how it's used as a scanner reader. So when we're looking at the print on the other side of the page, uh, on the other side of the page, many people will find that tiring to read and they may like to have the OCR and speech happening. So to activate that with the Clearview speech, we touch the bottom right corner of the screen. Position the text inside a window and tap the screen. And we can then position the text within the window here and as it says tap the screen. So I'll do that now. Fill an orange salad. Serves four as a side dish. One large fennel bulb, wash and dry three navel oranges, peeled and sliced four basil leaves, wash and cut one slash three cup pumpkin seeds, dry roasted extra bird. Now you'll notice that what the Clearview speech is doing is it's identified the zones on the paper uh, that have paragraphs of text. Now uh, with this particular view it's a little difficult for you to see the white on white. I'm just going to magnify this image just slightly. And you can see now the, zo the zones it has identified. Because this is a touch sensitive screen I can actually touch another zone and have the, um, have the print read right. from the that slices point. in ice cold water for 20 minutes. Arrange the sliced oranges on the platter top of the sliced fennel bulb. You can imagine this could be a very powerful way when you have got diagrams with annotations and you want to follow labels in a certain visual order that's not necessarily the reading order that scanners would read from top to bottom left to right. So it may be the chart, uh, the labels on a chart or, or a diagram and you can actually, or a flow chart for example, where you want to follow a certain logical flow by tapping on the various labels. Now to move around the uh, scan document we simply, just as on an iPad, we swipe and drag. So this way we can drag around the image just like this and just tap wherever we want to read from. Fill an orange salad. Serves four as a side dish. What? We can make the image bigger Zoom in. and so on. There are various uh, customizations to suit individuals. For example, by pressing the menu button. Main menu. I can change the voice. Changing voice. Australian English. Tyler. Changing voice. British English. Serena. I can also change, change the view. View menu. And here this is showing us how the highlighting will work. So I could change the highlight. Highlight box yellow. Highlight line. Highlight line red. In this case I've chosen to highlight the whole of the line. And maybe I'll also change the, uh, the, the mode. Page. High. Column. To a column. Line. A line of text like a ticker tape. Page. Or a page. High contrast on. And we're going to change the colours of the high contrast. Black on yellow, yellow on black. Let's try yellow on black. Now I'll come out of that back to the uh, main menu. Back to the main menu and back again to the document. Make it a bit bigger. Zoom in, zoom in. And I'll just drag it across. And now you can see it's 
adopted the yellow, well, you may not see it so well on, on, on this view, that's a yellow on a black background to reduce glare, and the voice is now a female British voice. Fennel and orange salad. Serves for as a side dish. One lot. If I want to save that and add another page, I just go into the uh, menu. Main menu. I save. Save as menu. And I've got a series, of, I can save it as a, as a clear view document as a word document save with voice label i can give it a voice tag if i wish please record a voice label of up to five seconds recipe book and i just use my own voice to add a voice tag saving please wait it will also use the first few words at the top of the document as the file name now you'll notice that i'm doing this without a keyboard so this will suit people that maybe are not familiar with QWERTY keyboards, but still want to have some file management. Document. Has been saved. Do you want to append more pages? Yes, I do. So now I'm tap the screen to append page two. Tap on the exit button to stop appending. Saving, please wait. Tap the screen to append page three. So I'm gonna do Tap that. on the exit button to stop appending pages. Saving, please wait. And I'm going to make that the last page. Tap the screen to so I'm gonna press the cross. Four. Processing page one of three. Now, of course, the thing to bear in mind here that this is a visual system. It does require you to have some vision to press these controls and buttons. You may have quite significant low Processing vision. Processing page two of three. But this is not intended to be a scanner reader for a, someone who's totally blind. It's more for somebody with low vision. Or perhaps somebody with dyslexia or even perhaps somebody who English is a second language. Because Processing this, page three of three. This device, the Clearview Speech, can actually be programmed with many other uh, languages as well. So if we put some Italian under here, we can have it uh, shown and read back in Italian. Fennel and orange salad. Service for as a side dish. And now we actually have some additional controls to go back and forth. Through Opening the, page number two. To go through the pages. Opening page number three. So I think you can see that this could be a very useful general resource device. It can be used not just for people with low vision, but also for people with ESL context or people with dyslexia or other literacy difficulties.